Hey all, this is Martin from HowToMakeMobileGames.com On October the... Ah, oh, what day is it now? I'm travelling, I've forgotten uh, 6th, 2016 I think I don't know what day it is, I think it's a Wednesday or a Thursday <laughs> I've really got messed up uh, I'm actually in Doha Airport right now Transferred from Guangzhou, which is in South... Uh, sorry, I went... Uh, let me start again, I've been doing a lot of travel in the past... Uh, two days or so and I'm really tired right now really 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 tired uh, I can't sleep in airports uh, there's just too many people around and I always have to watch my stuff so I'm really really tired and you can probably see it on my face um, but the past two days I've been traveling uh, past three four days actually I, I drove from Shanghai to uh, South China which was 1600 kilometers and then I have taken a flight from South China to Shanghai uh, to catch my flight to England, but I have a stopover in Doha and It's been a long journey. I, I, in, Shanghai, uh, in Shanghai I had to wait around 9-10 hours and then around an 8 hour flight to Doha uh, in Qatar And it's a I've got to wait around 9 or 10 hours now in this airport And then I've got another 8 or 9 hours back to England, so it's a really long round trip But it's cool. I, I don't mind it. I, it's, I just feel a little bit tired uh, I don't mind the the uh, the lengthy stays in airports because I, I so long as I've got Wi-Fi or I've got my Mac, I can get a lot of work done. Like just now, I've been working on my game, uh, the one that I'm personally developing, and I'll do a separate video on that soon. Uh, so yeah, that's where I am right now. So I'm going to walk around and talk at the same time, and you can see what's going on in the video. But forgive my appearance. I know I look like shit right now. Uh, just uh, really, really long. Uh, long journey. I did manage to get some sleep on the plane though, but this is a really nice airport so I'm happy to stay over and uh, transfer in here. It's pretty cool. So anyway, here's, here's a view as I'm talking, but uh, the subject of this video is basically would I recommend getting into games now as a new developer? i seen one of the posts on the pro section of howtomakemobilegames.com, the forum, and I'm sorry, I can't remember who the name was uh, of the poster, but the, your question was something like, uh, how many games did it take until you became successful or until you made enough money to cover your uh, monthly expenses so that you don't have to work a full-time job? Some, something like that is what you were asking. And I think it might have been XDebugX who replied or one of the other guys um, are talking about you'd been doing it for five years now or six years or something or since since 2004 or two or something a long time and you basically said that um, you know even in that time you've not managed to cover your own uh, expenses you know your own like monthly payments so that you can't go into full-time development uh, and that's really true for a lot of developers really so this is a this is a video talking about that and would I recommend going into game development as a business now uh, for, a, for someone who's just coming into it uh, specifically mobile game development uh, it really depends, it, there's a yes or no answer to that uh, I would say yes if you are coming into mobile game development just as an indie, as like an individual developer you're building games, you're having fun, creating something that you enjoy creating and you're not looking to, you know immediately like build up a lot of money from it uh, you just want to get a game out there and something that you enjoy playing and something that you think others will enjoy as well and you want to try it out and go and see see how it does but you've not got any high hopes on it and you're not putting the other point is you're not putting in big investment money or anything like that you know you, it's just your personal time uh, your personal grind which you know is is you know uh, debatable whether you know you can count that as money or not but you, you know what I mean you're not paying tens of thousands of dollars for, for a team or an office or something like that it's extremely risky so my my answer would be in that situation yes if you are an indie coming into it for the first time doing it for fun and finding out how it's going and what and you want to improve your development skills or uh, build up your skill then yeah I'd say go for it um, I would say if you're a, if you're going in, in it for the business now I would say no uh, honestly it's it's just gotten super 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 hard uh, and I do I do tend to sort of rant on about this in a couple of the videos so I don't want to make this into another rant but I wanted to give maybe a possible like segue kind of idea uh, of what you can do uh, instead of developing games 
so the reason why I say no, like you know, like I kind of explained, and like the guys on the forum, I think it was XD book X uh, explained, is you need a ton of games in the market doing okay-ish in order to cover your living costs so that you can become a full-time game developer. Uh, that is really hard to achieve, and it's getting harder and harder and harder every single month. Uh, there's no light at the end of the tunnel for that, in my opinion. There's nothing that's going to change in the app store model, which is suddenly going to improve. There's a million different reasons why that is. Well, not a million, but there's a handful of really good reasons why it won't change. Things like uh, too much uh, competition, uh, things like the algorithm, uh, the ranking system of uh, Google heavily being weighted towards how many downloads you get. Um, the algorithm also being tweaked by a person, you know, or a team. It's not a an algorithm where uh, it's like market dictated, you know, or where it naturally finds a price in the market, say like the stock market. The algorithm is changed by a team of people at Apple or Google, and if they say that your game has shooting in it and all shooting games go down to the bottom of the pile, that's what happens and one little tweak and it's game over it's too heavily dictated uh, on another business so the, I don't that's not what I want to go into deeply in this video all of the the reasons why it's tough but um, uh, those are just some of them so as an alternative what I would say to people new people who might be starting to learn coding apps things like that uh, is build specific apps that solve a specific problem don't build games there's too many games there's games that you could say well my game's a little bit different well the purpose of a game is entertainment okay that's the main main reason of a game